20 kilometres out of Kabul, another village, another field. A team from the British demining outfit Halo is on the hunt for the deadly legacy of the American airstrikes. On the, on the, against the wall? Oh, yeah. The villagers have been collecting them for us. It's very nice of them. It's too dangerous to move them again. The Americans bombed here to pave the way for the Northern Alliance advance as the Taliban retreated. But long after the soldiers have gone, the bombs remain. Each cluster bomb contains 202 individual bombs, with a failure rate of up to 30%. There are thousands of these yellow cylinders lying around. One of the children from the village had picked up one of the um, cluster munitions and threw it down the hill and it exploded down the bottom of the hill. Fortunately, the child was up here and he wasn't uh, injured. But had he thrown it on the same level as himself, he would have been either seriously injured or dead. Had the same, um, that same set of cluster bombs actually injured anybody else? Yes, there's been a death just further up the road, another cluster strike. Children, adults, the deminers themselves, the leftovers from the fighting are still claiming lives. Uh. Two more young lives have been altered forever on this day. 11-year-old Sharif and his friend, 9-year-old Narodin. <laughs> they were playing with an unexploded shell when it detonated. Both boys suffered horrendous injuries. Narodin's mother has been waiting outside. Long after the bombing has stopped, yet another family is shattered by this war. I think people should come here and see uh, all the families of that have been destroyed by this uh, bombing campaign. Families that, in many instances, were not even aware of what had happened two months before in New York. Emergency is an Italian non-government medical aid group. Dr Gino Strada and fellow surgeon Dr Marco Gorati have been taking an average of five new cases of landmine or bomb injuries every day since the airstrikes began. But in total, they've had hundreds of war casualties. Sharif survived the blast, but not intact. It was a bad injury because he lost one hand and, uh, sorry, he had the perforation of a uh, colon. So it, he had an abdominal lesion, the hand is lost, and he had a bad, bad the fracture of, feb of uh, tibia. When we talk about the loss of his limb, he's grief-stricken. <laughs> The majority of my victims, uh, once again, are children. And that's why, personally, as a doctor, I, I feel that, you know, the, the use of, this, uh, of these landmines, as well as the use of cluster bombs, uh, is nothing else but an act of terror, which, in my opinion, is not very much different from those who kill civilians everywhere in the world. So this is another uh, act of terror that uh, doesn't repair the previous one, and it just adds more sufferings and more killings. And, and this is, is absolutely crazy, I think. Those cluster bombs are used as a way for us to, trans to use technology uh, as a substitute for, uh, for people. Otherwise, we would have had to send a lot more people over there, we'd have a lot more dead Americans, we'd have a lot more dead allies as a result of it. Half a world away, retired Air Force Colonel Robert Chandler maintains the United States has done everything in its power to minimize civilian casualties. And it's been made possible by technology that gives precision strike capabilities and also the discipline of, uh, of the, uh, the special forces and the other military people uh, that, are in, uh, that are in Afghanistan. It's not simply the bombing and ground fighting that has led to all these injuries. More than 20 years of war has indoctrinated Afghans with a sense of violence. Three of these women have been shot, caught in crossfire during fights between fellow Afghans. I operated one small child uh, three days ago. He was nine years old. And he was trying to steal something, probably. And he was shot with a Kalashnikov, a true and true bullet, uh, uh, complete disaster, and he died. Rockets, mortars, grenades, bombs, landmines. The debris left behind by this war is staggering. 
The United States has promised to send a military liaison officer to help the demining teams locate the unexploded ordnance. But for now, they're working in the dark. So it's just got the fuse in it. This is an enormous problem because there are areas that are, are, are safe to return back in terms of the fighting, but are unsafe to return to because uh, of, of, of the number of, uh, uh, un the unknown number of unexploded uh, ordinances that are scattered around. They litter the countryside. So at this point in time, how much do you know about how many bombs were dropped and where they were dropped? Absolutely um, nothing. Four million Afghans have fled to neighbouring countries during the years of civil war. And another 1.4 million have run from the fighting of the last six months. They're now trying to return. There are parts of Kabul that haven't been just bombed, they've been decimated. Yet Afghans are already flocking back to their city of ruins, trying to find somewhere to live. In the past two weeks alone, more than 10,000 people have returned to Kabul. Those who cannot make it back to their homes are waiting in camps, many of them in the north where the fighting is still going on and winter has hit with a vengeance. The health conditions have deteriorated, um, the numbers have increased, many people are sleeping out in the open and it's getting very, very cold. Children are already beginning to die because they're freezing to death, uh, they are hungry uh, and although our system is now going in now, uh, for some of, of the people who are in there, it is too late. While politicians talk of rebuilding the country, people's homes and fields must first be made safe. The demining teams will slowly but systematically try and clean up the hubris of war. Oh, God! While the coalition talks of collateral damage and successful outcomes, children here will be taught how to survive until it's safe. There may be areas that are, that are uh, with uh, cluster bombs. There may be a large number of mines that were uh, put into place by the Taliban. As in any war, there needs to be a major cleanup. You know, it's, uh, it's always the same story. I'm sure that next time somebody will go to the TV and explain that the next war will be a war with no victims. A very intelligent war. I wish uh, those who, who press the button have the same intelligence as the bombs, because to me they look even more stupid than the bombs. <laughs>